This is real backstage. You got to go to the bathroom. Yes, I do. You actually go to the bathroom. It's called Tin One. But you're like Superman. I mean, you, you're unstoppable. You go I to the bathroom? I don't have a super bladder, though. <laughs> well, his urine is very special. That's what he said. He had to go to the bathroom. They sell it to India. They buy it for almost $200 an ounce. Wow, that is pretty special. As you know, it's been an insane year. A couple questions for you. Sidney Portier, I heard, called you wanted to go to lunch. Yes, that had been did. unbelievable. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Come on over here, baby. Did you, you, did, here. did you pay or did he pay? Ah. Um, no, um, Ivy paid for it. We, I put That's out my money fabulous. and the Ivy was, they paid for it. But Sydney said the most wonderful, wonderful things that just touched my heart about the journey that it takes to uh, to be in the position to to shed some encouragement to people. I mean, because that's what we do. You know, none of us, if we had started off, would have said, I want to be an actor, I want to be an actor, because we didn't understand what it was truly about. We wanted to be an actor because we thought it would be fun. And helping people to cope with their own individual lives and finding hope in their lives. So that's what Sydney talked to me about. Wow, that's deep. I would say it's a passing of the torch in some way. Not that there's not room for all of the beautiful generations of actors in this world, but I think, you know, Sydney's wanting to see you as a testament of what you bring to the game. Well, I saw your torch, and wow, I've been living by it for a long time, and that's from my heart. Now, you recently worked with Andre 3000 of Outcast, who's got impeccable fashion. Did you get fashion advice here? Because this is stylish, man. No, no, no. I just learned to become a vegetarian. I wish I could live up to it. But um, Andre, Benjamin Andre, is literally, to talk with him is like talking with John John Lennon and Jimi Hendrix combined. He is really a gift to our generation. And I cannot wait for the rest of the world to to embrace him for the gifts that he has to offer us. Last thing I want to know, everyone's been asking you a million questions. What have you never asked Miss Washington over here that you've always wanted to know? When are you getting divorced? Never. <laughs> but I'll play your wife any day. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, that's what we've been trying to figure out, a way in which to work together, because um, you inspire me. You really do. And I, I a touching wait. moment. I think we need a hug here. Oh, Can we have a hug? Time.